What's going on? It's my new Milwaukee Hacksaw M12 cordless reciprocating saw. Um, I got this. I have an 18 volt uh, Ryobi. Um, I wanted to get something a little smaller, something a little lighter, something a little more compact. Um, so I decided on this one instead of the uh, uh, Makita uh, reciprocating saw uh, for the 12 volt platform. Um, like I said, I got Milwaukee and I got Makita. Um, I just decided Milwaukee. I love the reviews on it. I like the way um, it looks. I like the way, you know, it's not your normal uh, recip saw. You know, that's long with the trigger. This is almost, you see here, it's almost like a drill. Instead of it continuing straight, it comes, shoots up. And you got this right here you can press down on. And it's just the way it really fits in your hand. Um, I've seen some people on YouTube with um, a lot of uh, experts and all that stuff, uh, you know, who do these uh, reviews, real nice reviews on these, you know, these top-notch, uh, nice production-type videos. So I, I like the way it looked and the, the way they were using it and everything. So this ain't opened. I just got it from Home Depot. I think it was like 89 bucks. Uh, I think you can get the Makita for 75 So, you know, I decided to spend the extra 10 bucks. And with Milwaukee, you get the five-year warranty. Uh, Makita, you get a three. So, I mean, for 10 bucks uh, extra, pretty much a no-brainer. Um, and the reviews on this, I, I think this is pretty much, this and the Bosch 12-volt um, recip saw, these pretty much are the top two on the market right now. So I don't have the Bosch um, 12 volt platform. I am, I think gonna go to their 18 volt platform. I decided, you know, once a lot of my stuff's getting old here and it's time to get some new stuff. Not that my old stuff's dead or anything, but I'm gonna start needing some backup stuff. But uh, I think I'm going uh, Bosch. So, um, but let me, uh, open this up. I'll put it on pause while I do it, because I don't want you guys, you're going to be watching me fumble this around with one hand. So let me pause it real quick, and I'll, I'll get it semi-open for you. Okay. I just opened it. It's weird. There's somebody wrote on a pencil, with a pencil, inside the box in a couple areas. Right there. Can't make that out, but this says 0021. So, I don't know. Like I said, I got some Home Depot, so you know, whatever. If any kind of issues, they take it back pretty easily. Um, here's. Let me just try to dump it out here. There we go. All right, here's that little pamphlet that you get pretty much with every 12 volt or 18 volt. This is all the different tools they have. They're advertising these fuels now. These fuels, Milwaukee, everything they have that says fuel, basically it's brushless. So um, a lot of their 12 volt, they just started their 18 volt uh, brushless stuff. has been out for quite a while, a little over a year, maybe even a year and a half. But the 12 volt stuff just came out in the last six months. Um, I'm 18. Let me see what I can do. Uh, oh, this might be up. I did this on the last. Uh, one here, but all right, real quick. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this, but this is a lot of their new 12 volt stuff. If anyone's interested, these are the the numbers. 
you know, hammer drill. These are a lot of the, this is all the 12 volt. This side, the other side is the 18 volt. And I got something new here. They're adding stuff all the time. Rotary hammer kit. Wow, that's pretty cool. 12 volt. These are all brushless. These are the stuff they're adding to their brushless stuff. They got an impact wrench now. Wow. Three eighths brushless. I gotta look that puppy up. Right, here's another one. Rotary hammer. This is just basically uh, your non fuel, so it's not a brushless. But this has a one half. This is a five eight, so wow, it went a little bit bigger with the uh, brushless. But anyway, here's the item I got here: a hacksaw. I wonder if they make a brushless model of this. Let me just look. No, I don't see it. I got a little radio here. Check this out. Laser gun. Jesus. Look at this. Heated jacket. A 12-volt heated jacket kit. What the hell? If anybody's got one of these, come on. You got to do a video, please. You got to see it. But anyway, all right, enough of that. Anyway, comes with the operator's manual. These have a five-year warranty. The thing that's cool with Milwaukee is pretty much they tell can tell pretty much right by the um, item number, the serial number, when it was bought, and how old it is, and all that. So, um. You know, the best thing to do, you don't really have to mail anything in. So when you get one of these tools, the M12, any Milwaukee tool, just pretty much go online and uh, you can register it. it. takes like five minutes. Once you register it, you know, five years, man. You got that five-year warranty. It takes five minutes. Really good to do just in case something happens. They're going to stand by it, hopefully. Um... I never had any dealings with Milwaukee, so. But the wall is very good. Give it, you know. They're pretty much what I've dealt with for a while, but wow. I cannot believe this is an act. This is a reciprocating saw. Feels real good in your hand. Let me get a battery. I'm gonna load this one in. Goes in. Oh, it has a fuel gauge here. It has a lock, which is cool. You just kick locks on this side. So you push it in. Now you're ready to go. So it has a um, little energy meter, how much power you have left in your battery. And this is fully charged, so. Um, you know, it's going to read full. I love how Milwaukee does this. I uh, did have the same thing with their impact driver. It tells you how much power is left in it and everything, which is cool. Um, you know, it's just a great feature, you know, like I said, you don't know if you charge, if you forget to charge your batteries and you got a job to do, you don't know how much juice you're going to have. This lets you know, oh, shit. you know, I can go grab another battery or put this on the, on the charger for like, you know, half an hour. Um, it's a great, great feature because these batteries don't really, you know, there's no way to really know if they're charged or not. There's not like a, a button on them or anything to let you know, you know, how much and, and how much power they have. If they're half full, three quarters, you know, three, you know, one third. So this is a great way to let you know what your batteries are up to. Um, here's the lock. Like I said, you push it in. It's locked. You press the trigger, nothing's going to happen. Push it in, now you're ready to go. So it feels real good. Um, has a light right here, which is pretty cool. So if you're doing something, you know, cutting under something where you really can't see that well, or, you know, it's getting dark. If you're, oh, you know, in a dark room, and you're trying to navigate out of it. You got this little light here. It should help you 
at least find your way out. But, you know, if you're working in a closet or something, anything like that where it's dark and just gives you a little extra light. Um, this doesn't have the 10 second overlay, it looks like. Which I thought I saw in a video it does, but maybe it doesn't have the blade in. Once I put the blade on, maybe that changes. But uh, anyway, it's it's freaking awesome. <laughs> you guys got to... This is a reciprocating saw. I just can't believe it. Feels like it's got a lot of po power to it, a lot of torque. So let me put one of these blades on. Just hold on a second, and we'll see what's going. Actually, let me just give you the item number here. Wherever it was, if you guys are interested. There it is. 2420-20. 12 volt. Hacksaw reciprocating saw. All right. Let's hold on one second. I'll get a blade on this puppy. Okay, I'm back. Um, they give, what's cool is they give you two blades. They give you a wood blade, and they give you this uh, metal blade to cut metal. You know, metal pipes, copper pipes, stuff like that. Um, just to let you guys know to put this blade on. It's so simple. You see this right here, this little knob here? You just turn it to your right, real as far as you can. You'll hear it click, stick in the blade, and let go. And you're ready to rock. So, um, it's just awesome. I'm ready to cut some some wood here with this puppy. Um, yeah, that light doesn't stay on for 10 seconds on this one. I don't know what's going on. I saw a couple videos. Let me know, guys, if you have this. If anybody's watching this, if that's supposed to stay on or not. Um, I thought I saw... Like we said, another uh, guy reviewing this, and uh, I think the light stayed on for like 10 seconds. Pretty much like all their uh, their 12-volt tools. has like a 10-second delay. Uh, not really a big deal with me. You know, I'm not really going to be using this, you know, in the dark, but just for my own, uh, my own knowledge, just to know. But it's really made really well. Um, I'm going to try to cut something for you guys. Just uh, let me find a piece of wood real quick. Um, and I'll cut something real quick. But pretty much, you know, it comes with two blades, metal and a wood. I got the wood blade on. You turn that to the right until you hear it. You know, it'll stop moving. Stick the blade in, let go. You're ready to go. So, um, yeah, it's definitely state of the art the way. I think the Bosch is kind of looks like this too. I don't know who came out with it first, but um, you know, it's definitely like I said. You can, this like this is like a drill right here. Now you would hold it like a drill, then it goes up. It's just pr really really cool. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can find a piece of wood here to cut. All right, so we're gonna. Uh... Try this puppy out. Got a piece of wood here. Pretty much it's a long two by four here. Um, just gonna do a quick cut with it. Let you know how it does. So this is the 12 volt uh, Milwaukee Hacksaw Sip Saw in action. I'm in a tough spot here. I got stuff for my uh, washing machine that they're coming to fix. So, but it should work pretty good. This is what I'm using here. All right, you guys ready?
you know, I didn't have it in a vice or anything. So, you know, it, it wobbled a little bit, but I kind of just wanted to let you know how much power it had. It took a little bit longer, like I said, but once, once uh, my operator who was holding the camera was so nice to hold the piece of wood, uh, the vibration stopped, then it cut it pretty, pretty easily. It took all the paint off the blade, but still, still looks pretty good. So there you have it, cutting this pretty much pretty easy, you know, struggled just because it's not properly uh, the wood. I have it laying on my bower here. As you can see, it's a big, long piece, probably a 10-foot piece, and I don't have it in the bikes or 